Hey everyone, Mike Campbell here, founder and host of Beyond the Beers, and I've jumped on the phone quickly with Mr. Jackson Old, or Jacko, as we all know him, who spoke at the last event in Sydney earlier in the year, is going to be speaking again at the Brisbane event on September the 16th, and I wanted to speak to Jacko quickly just to learn a little bit more about him and why he is getting involved in the day. So Jacko, welcome. Very pumped to have you uh, involved in the day again. I know the dudes that were at the last one are very excited to see you again, but mate, for those who haven't got tickets and may be coming along, tell us a little bit more about you. Cool. Um, super excited for Brisbane. Um, even more excited that it's at my uh, my church, the Forex Gold uh, Brewery. A um, little bit about me. Um, I'm pretty lucky I get to do what I really love to do. So that's I love to speak in front of people. I've um, been lucky enough to have a career in that over the last couple of years. At the moment, I've um, been really focusing on a big passion of mine, which is the agriculture industry. So I spent a couple of months, last couple of months out west uh, working on a cattle station. Now I'm back um, doing my hand with a few horses and working there. So I'm loving that. And of course, um, with my dad and his family on the farm. So everything's been pretty enjoyable. Um, I'm super excited about September. This event to me um, is something I really love to do and I can't wait to dive in. Yeah, so so tell us then, you know, why Beyond the Beers? Why did you say yes and get on? Beyond, you know, knowing me and us being mates, why are you getting involved with Beyond the Beers? Yeah, cool. Um, I love the idea of Beyond the Beers. Um, I think it's something that's really re- unique and um, something that no one else is doing. A lot of the time, us blokes, we just throw a chat around. There's not much to it. But I think Beyond the Beers provides a space where we can all jump in. Um, if we've got any problems, there's no sort of judgment. or It's really sort of a safe safe um, place for us to share our share our journeys, really, and um, learn some things off each other and have a good time. But it's a great network. Um, the guys I met in Sydney are pretty cool dudes, and we still catch mm-hmm. up and that sort of stuff. But I think Brisbane's going to be pretty exciting. It's sort of my hometown. And um, can't wait to hear some of the speakers. Mad Dog's coming along, one of my footy inspirations when I was a young fella. And couple other speakers but it's a sort of that event where you love to get involved and love to see other blokes having a good time and getting a lot out of the event so that's why i'm excited to jump in um it's something that's close to me and i think more events like these should be around mate well we'll see how we go in brisbane and we might be able to do more hey um but yeah, look i'm very excited about having you speak and and you know one of the big things for me is about uh, you know going first right and, and a few of us men standing at the front of the stage and going first mm-hmm. know that that's absolutely what um, the guys in the audience got from you last time, which was sharing your story, which is a pretty phenomenal story. So I'm keen to know, uh, you know, what are you going to talk to us about on the day? Can yeah, cool. So um, I'm going to um, sort of jump back into where we left in Sydney, sort of jump back into my story and share where I've been the last couple of years. But um, I sort of want to add in um, a bit of my side, which is the agricultural side, and um, sort of look at the resilience that people from the bush have, um, how they can bounce back from any situation and get through years and years of tough stuff. So that's what I'm going to sort of look at where our resilience come from, comes from, how we can add to our resilience and grow it, and sort of look at what influences we have at the moment that are maybe clearing up and mucking up our life a little bit and leading to sort of that negativity that we all feel, and how we can sort of not get rid of those, but sort of clean it up a little bit and mm-hmm. add some fresh water to our life to sort of use Beyond the Beers as a bit of a, a leapfrog, a bit of a spring to get us to where we need to be. Beautiful, mate. I'm excited to hear it. And, and I know your stories, which I love. Uh, more so, I love the way in which you tell it. Uh, but I'm interested to hear the new analogy that you were mentioning to me. Um, so I can't wait to have you there on the day, mate. It's going to be awesome. I hope you're feeling great about speaking after one of your rugby league idols, Mr. Mad Dog, uh, Adam McDougall. Um, but yeah, look, we- for those guys, if you want to come along, see Jacko, myself, and, and get involved in the day, then head along to the website, um, follow the links here. And uh, we would love to see you there on the day. It's going to be a great day down at the Forex Brewery with a couple of cold milk mangoes with me and Jacko. A couple of things. Unreal, mate. Awesome. Thanks, Jacko, and uh, and everyone else. We'll see you on the day. Sounds good.